Friday, September 8. Paul's respect for children as fellow believers in Ephesians 6, 1-3 heightens our concern for the ways in which children are treated in our world today. His word to fathers in Ephesians 6, verse 4 invites us to consider parental responsibilities. Applying Paul's counsel to slaves in verses 5 to 8, and especially his counsel to slave masters in verse 9, is more challenging, since the social setting is distant for many of us, and because we know that slavery, in any form, is one of the greatest of moral evils. Still, since these words are inspired ones that are part of Scripture, we should ponder how to apply them today. With the believers in Ephesus in the first century, we have the privilege and responsibility of applying the values of the gospel to our relationships. The discussion questions below are designed to foster that important work, and there are five discussion questions. 1. What does it mean for Adventists that love for children is identified as evidence of a people prepared for the Lord in Luke 117. He will also go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And he's quoting here from Malachi 4 verse 6. And he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the earth with a curse. 2. Paul's obvious respect for children suggests a searching question. What is our responsibility to extend the care of Christ to children who have experienced violence, sexual abuse and shame in their early lives? In view of research on the profound impact of adverse childhood experiences, what is our responsibility toward them? 3. As an extension of Paul's respect for children and Jesus' care for them, what responsibilities does the church have to nurture and protect the children in its care? What systems and procedures need to be in place to do so? 4. Paul's counsel to slaves and slave masters in Ephesians 6, 5-9 is often applied to the relationships between employees and employers. In what ways might this be appropriate? Let's read it. Ephesians 6, beginning at verse 5. Bond servants, be obedient to those who are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in sincerity of heart, as to Christ, not with eye service, as men pleases, but as bond servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will, doing service as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatever good anyone does, he will receive the same from the Lord, whether he is slave or free. And you masters, do the same things to them, giving up threatening, knowing that your own master also is in heaven, and there is no partiality with him. What dangers present themselves in doing so? And five, slavery remains a painful reality in our world, with more than 40 million people enslaved, according to the Global Slavery Index. As free people whose spiritual forebears were firmly committed to the abolition of slavery, what are our responsibility to these enslaved sons and daughters of God as we sing of Christ from that famous carol, O Holy Night? Chains shall he break, for the slave is our brother, and in his name all oppression shall cease. And now it's time for Inside Story with Sibylla. Thank you, Sibylla. A Book and a Ride by Andrew McChesney Alexei Arishanyan, a 33-year-old Ukrainian living in Poland, was running late. He had just finished his work installing windows and had to stop at the gas station as he raced to meet his wife for an evening shopping trip. At the gas pump, Alexei noticed a young man trying to start his scooter. He kept trying to start the scooter, but to no avail. A large insulated bag on the back of his scooter showed that he was making a food delivery. 
Alexei didn't speak good Polish, but he didn't want to pass up an opportunity to help. He thought about the young man as he filled up the tank and paid for the gas. Back in the car, he opened the window and called out, What's wrong? The young man was Polish. He said, The scooter doesn't want to start. Alexei belongs to a group of church members who distribute Ellen White's The Great Controversy. It is a difficult task with few receptive people, and he saw an opportunity. He handed the young man a book. I have a gift for you, he said. It's a Christian book that contains the history of Christianity from the first Christians who defended the truth after Christ returned to heaven to the events that will occur at the end of the world. I think that you will find it interesting. The young man accepted the book and thanked him. Alexei returned to his car and sat and thought, I can't leave. I haven't done my duty as a Christian, he thought. I gave him a book, but I didn't fill his need. Opening the car door, he said, I can take you to your delivery place. Really? the young man asked with surprise. Really? Alexei said. I understand how you feel. I'll take you. The young man grabbed the bag of food and Alexei drove him about two miles or three kilometres to the address. Will you wait for me? the young man asked. Of course, I bought you. On the way back to the gas station, the young man marvelled at Alexei's kindness. In Poland, very few Christians stop and offer help. But you are a Ukrainian Christian and offered help, he said. He introduced himself as Camille. Alexei spoke about the love of God and Camille listened intently. As they arrived at the gas station, a co-worker from Camille's workplace pulled up to fix the scooter. Alexei left. Camille had helped and he could leave. Alexei was late to his appointment to meet his wife. But it was worth it. He had been delayed by a divine appointment. This quarter's 13th Sabbath offering will go to the Trans-European Division, which includes Poland. Thank you for planning a generous offering. This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.